Just think it might put everyone at ease if you ditch the lightsaber. Is that really necessary? Surely I'm not as intimidating as you imply. If we just spend some time together, I'll bet we could come to an understanding. I'm confident we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the days to come. Lana Benico, dedicated Imperial citizen and fully armed Sith Lord. But you don't need to worry about that. Arcus manipulated her and her people, same as Derek did to us. She's already shared a lot of good intel. Based on your work in the lab, we know that Arcus and Derek are working together, manipulating both sides for some third party. They're Revanites, members of the Order of Revan, a secretive cult that's had its claws in the Empire for many years. It seems they've pierced the Republic now as well. How large is this cult? What kind of resources do they have? Given what you uncovered in the lab, they're much larger and better funded than we'd ever guessed. We know the Revanites have highly placed moles in both the Republic and the Empire. That means we have no idea who we can really trust. Then it's up to us to stop them. <coughs> My master, the incomparable Star Captain Jakara, is more interested in action than discussion, and this is his translator, C2D4. Former interpreter for her eminence, Queen Lena of Abdera. Yeah, we got that earlier. All of it. I saw your list of known accomplices earlier. Quite impressive. Could any of them help us find where these traitors might be hiding? Superb. Then if Theron agrees... Go ahead and get the ship prepped. I'll cover our tracks and catch up. Very well. It's been a pleasure meeting you. May the Force ever serve you. You'd better travel separately. If the Revanites put a tail on us, they won't know which to follow. I don't think these cultists realize who they're up against. Suits me. I better get moving. Watch your back out there. <laughs>